Welcome to the week four briefing. So here's the Intel update prior to the lecture. The theory papers have been marked. So the summary advice for everyone based on observation of the theory papers is that there are a few common areas of strength and Conversely, these common areas of strength, when they weren't present, became, as we say, areas of opportunity for people to upgrade. What people were doing really well when they were doing it, the citation-led arguments were really coming together quite well. I'm very pleased to see how smoothly people are assembling arguments and bringing the references together and presenting a case, a unified case across the document and using the evidence from the references to support the arguments. Conversely, where people were running into trouble is that they were going and either presenting the evidence as fait accompli, so there would be a direct quote, or new to this assignment was the paragraph with two or three references in it that detailed a set of facts but never contextualized it to the assignment. So the contextualization was a big difference maker and that was something that was interesting to see that the real turning point between the ultra high distinctions and the high distinctions was around contextualization. How well did you build in the use of your evidence to the demonstration of your argument? What everyone can learn from this is that the citation is valuable for indicating that you are applying the marketing and applying the marketing thinking and you're aware that you're being influenced by others, but also you still need to make a good application. Mere citation, mere theory alone isn't going to cut it against the ideal of theory plus argument as a sequence. So you're presenting here is my concept, it works to the argument I'm mounting. So for the people who were mounting the argument around e-marketing suit strategy and they are bringing in the frameworks such as the Porter's generic strategies, and a lot of people, were, an awful lot of people were quoting Dan and Dan 2011, which I appreciate actually, thank you. When these strategies were coming into place, and you sort of, well, we're going to use the Porter's generic strategies as a demonstration of why e marketing best suits strategies, for example, product differentiation is much easier to do on the internet because you can use one to one and one to many to one personalized marketing, Hoffman and Novak 1996, to create differentiated products for your market. It brought the argument together. It used the citations, brought the arguments together. So that was a real positive. That people did that when it was done and it was done well. It was a real joy to read. Strategy, tactics team. Um, tactics team was also quite well represented and people were doing a good job of presenting the e-marketing arguments around speed. People were coming in with the evidence base of E-marketing lends itself towards fast changes and fast adaptations. Social media is about personal interaction. While strategy can set you the big picture, it's the close quarters, fast work that makes the difference. And you could see people bringing in the Hoffman and Novak 96, one to many to one, as the evidence of why tactics work really well in this arena, because the interpersonal lends itself to the shorter term. Again, good arguments. I like the arguments. They worked quite well. The team representing both strategy and tactics probably, um, I think it would have worked out around a 40-40-20 split. The team representing both either went really well because they came out up front and said, this will argue the case for strategy to tactics, and then came through and said, Tactics are determined by the strategy, strategy is implemented by the tactics. Therefore, a strategy that involves e-marketing needs tactics that are suited to e-marketing 
e-marketing therefore lends itself to strategic implementation through tactical implementation. And it was a really good set of argument and evidence around that. that tended, they tended to have a little more case studies, uh, case illustrations to say, here is a strategy from a firm, and here is the tactical implementation. Where people ran into trouble on arguing both was when they were arguing in the body of the text for both. They were talking about, oh, tactics are useful, strategy is useful. And they'd somewhere in the paper said one or the other. Quite a few people got pinged on declaring this is a paper that will support strategy and then waxing eloquently about tactics or saying tactics are the way for e-marketing, by the way you should check these strategies out. If you wanted to do both you had to declare both, when you didn't declare both you ran into a bit of a problem. So overall for the theory papers what I think for here from here to the next task have a look at your feedback. Some of you do need to book in to come and see me, so consultation times will be opened up again. Tactics team, I now switch over to marking your work. I'm looking forward to reading that. Uh, I can honestly say I've never been so happy as to see the majority of papers get a turn it in text match result of 96 to 97%. So everyone who filled out the registration document and got a massively high uh, text match, thank you, you did it right. And whoever got to go first and got to have the zero and seeing they're going, oh, that's awkward. Congratulations on your first mover advantage. You were there first, you didn't get that matching. Final thing I want to say for the week four briefing is practical team, it's on. You have to now be creating content, you have to now be managing your sites, you have to be moving forward with what you promised to do in the plan. Even though I haven't marked those and fed those back that back to you yet, you need to act on what you have promised. Your marks will be back soon. I went with the marking the theory papers because it was the easiest of the setups in Turnitin. It's a single document. The Tactical papers are a little more complicated, so I want to give myself a full working week to deal with those. I intend to have these things back as fast as I possibly can, so stand by for a midweek or a late week update and another video giving you the update um, and the update patches from the collective experience of the practical paper. Overall, the other thing I want to just say is I was very, very pleased with the on-time submission rate for this assignment. I asked a lot of you. I have really put you under pressure to make an on-time delivery in week three of some heavy, heavy duty work, and you rose to the task. So I am very grateful that you did that. Thank you. The, the expectation I put you under was, well, it was unreasonable and you rose to it and you delivered on it. And there's a key thing that I want to tell you is that one of the great things about e-marketing is that ship early is a mantra. You were put under a three week window and you made a very short tight delivery deadline. So first thing, be proud of yourself. Second thing is that this is e-marketing. We have narrow windows and we have short delivery times because we have one other thing up our sleeve and that'll get revealed later in the week. So those of you who wrote your papers on this uh, the theory stream, they are now available. Consultation times will prioritize you guys this week. Um, I'm gonna open up another deck of consults down later uh, once the marking is done, so I'll probably put up a Thursday or Friday consult block. Same again, I will open up the consult do, uh, block for next week, but also I'll be available over email for consults. And that includes the long weekend. So, congratulations everyone. It was a big three weeks and it's been a very pleasing set of papers to mark. And I appreciate, again, that you made such a huge task 
look easy by getting it in on time. Thank you.